Alright guys, um, how's it going? So uh, today I just want to do a uh, video review, just talk a little bit about my my case I guess uh, and my uh, my new motherboard since I just upgrade from uh, Asus M2A VM to a Gigabyte uh, 770 Ultra Durable 3 motherboard and uh, just want to talk a little bit about the like how the new motherboard works and uh, also I guess some of the temperatures going on in my case right now because uh, I can tell you right now I'm getting some some of the very insane temperature right now alright so let's just get started so now as you can see um, I'm, I'm using this software called uh, Everest and uh, so pretty much it shows all my temperatures uh, in my system and as you can see here this 8 is the core one temperature and the second core temperature sits around 10 degrees and this is 21 and this is this is what this is the CPU temperature dude this is the CPU temperature right now it's at 22 and uh, Oh, in case you're wondering, like what CPU I'm using, I'm using the Black Edition 5000 um, AMD dual core, and I overclocked to 3.1, 3.2 gigahertz. Actually, I just I was using a uh, 3.1, just kind of overclocked to 3.2, since I wanted to see how my new motherboard works. So right now, at 3.2 gigahertz, um, I believe it's uh, if you're looking at the CPU Z, um, as you can see, the core voltage is around 1.41 1 volt, and uh, the core speed is uh, 3.2 gigahertz. Uh, I was using um, 3.1 gigahertz, and I set the multiply at 15.5, and uh, and that gives me. Uh, 1.36 volt for the V core, and uh, so right now um, I kind of increase the V core a little bit because I would I'm not able to get it work, get it stable at uh, 3.2 gigahertz. So I increase the voltage uh, to 1.4, and uh, it give me a 3.2 gigahertz right now, and it works very well. It's very stable. I've tested all the program I need I need to use and uh, running the Prime 95 for around uh, 10 minutes. Everything is very stable right now, so I'm really happy with. It. Actually, I can't even believe it right now. That's why I want to make a video. I can't even believe it. Look at the temperature right now. It's 22, 22 degree, and uh, I'm not even using a red kick-ass CPU cooler like Zoman or whatever. I'm using a really cheap cooler. It's a uh, uh, ZOCZ. Uh, Vanquisher, I think I got like 20 bucks for that core, so I think it's a great deal. And th this one actually works really well. So, oh yeah, and and one thing I needed to to mention is that um the 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 fan, the CPU fan isn't even spinning like really fast. It's spinning at only like 400 RPM, and that gave me 21 degree for the CPU at idle. What, what, what's going on? You know. I can't even believe it, man. This is insane. Okay, now you might wondering. Uh, I've said I just upgrade to a to a new motherboard, and now I'm using the Gigabyte Ultra Durable Three uh, 770 chipset. So um, before I was using the uh, Asus M2A VM. Uh, when I was using that mobile, I was getting around 28, 29 uh, degree for the CPU at idle but right now. Um, it's way cooler, you know. And oh, by the way, and uh, the case I'm using, as I said before in my previous video, is the Antec 300. Uh, well known for the for the massive cooling, you know. And uh, as you can see here, I um, you can see those two cables right here. Uh, they're kind of messy because the thing is, I just I just kind of connected like 10 minutes ago. I wasn't even using the tooth. I wasn't even using the the back like this fan. Uh, and the top fan before I wasn't even using it. Like I'm getting around 
29, 28, just like my old motherboard, like I'm getting like the similar results. Uh, without running running this fan and the top fan, the top uh, 140 millimeter fan. Without using those two fans, I'm getting around 29 degrees. And uh, right now I just turned them on and I'm getting 21. I'm getting 21. Dude, 21 and uh, 31 for the for the motherboard so that's that's massive that's just insane you know uh, and uh, and also the the CPU fan spinning at only 400 rpm by the way this is the uh, this is another three pin fan I had uh, in the front uh, as you can see here this is the I use it to cool my hard drive because I got two hard drive right now um, I have another fan here but I didn't turn it on another LED fan it's also a 120 millimeter fan so uh, yeah because I don't have anything like inside or, like near this this fan so I don't think it'll it probably cool down my graphic card a little bit since my graphic card is here it's, it's, but it's not, not really close to the fan so I just didn't really want to turn it on anyway so uh, thanks for watching and I just wanted to just wanted to show the results it's just sick you know I can't even believe it again um, this is the uh, AMD um, 5000 plus black edition overclocked to 3.2 gigahertz and uh, that's the CPU temperature 21 and that's 400 RPM. Yeah. Oh, and this this 26 and 26. Uh, these are the hard drive temperature because I got to West Digital 320 gig hard drive. I guess still a good temperature. Like before I using uh, before I wasn't even like I wasn't even turn on like any of those case fan. Like before, the only fan I really have is the CPU fan and the, the power supply fan. Obviously, that's the only two fan I I was using, and uh, I was getting around 30 degree 29 idle and uh, uh, under load. I think I'm, I was getting around 40 something. I can't really remember, but now I just used the Prime 95 for like 10 minutes and the CPU temperature. Uh, the max I've seen is like 38, 39. So yeah, everything is just, just unbelievable. You know, I'm not even using water cooling or something like that. I'm not even getting a so many cooler. This, this is uh, again, great CPU cooler. And uh, yeah, so yeah. And by the way, this is my new power supply, as you see from my uh, last video. And I uh, just, just wanted to put it this way. I can put it like upside down, which um, uh, by that way you can see the the fan, like the fan grill and the fan. Because the fan um, got a red LED on, so it looks really nice. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to get a clean kill management. Uh, yeah. So I just decided to do it this way. And uh, I, don't, I don't think like there's it's gonna make it uh, any change for the temperature like inside my case I think it's pretty much the same whatever you put it this way or upside down I think it doesn't matter some people like to do it this way some people like to do the other way around so it's all good um, yeah thanks for watching if you have any questions about my case about my uh, I guess cooler or mobile or CPU whatever just just let me know and uh, leave a comment or something I'll probably uh, make another video soon so see you next time peace